Hello everybody, this is Samwise from DSN Games. Uh, <coughs> oh sorry, I'm just laughing at that intro. It's a bit seen and this. But anyway, uh, this is a very different video I'm doing. This is uh, nothing to do with gaming. It's a bit weird for a gaming channel, but it's very important and I have to mention this to you guys. And um, I think it's very important that I get it out there. Um, most of you, um, I'm suspecting pretty much all of you, will have already heard about this. But uh, if you haven't, uh, here it is. It is the Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA, S-O-P-A. It's um, a bill that's going through US Congress. Um, it's basically trying to stop online piracy, as the name implies. But uh, it's not completely fair. And Well, I'm just going to run you through basically the basics of it. I don't know every aspect of the bill. But um, in the description, I'll link a few sites. I'll mention what they are. But um, they explain it much better than I do. But um, basically, this act, it's um, designed to stop piracy and the distribution of copyrighted or infringement material. So that's stuff like copyrighted music, copyrighted videos, um, I don't know, even statements, articles, people have written and then you post them somewhere else. Um, it's going to try and stop that. But, um, right, I'll just go right in time for a bit. There was... Um, a while ago there was a thing passed, I can't know what it was called, but it basically said that if someone posts um, something that breaches copyright, then that is that user's responsibility. It is not the site who that user is posted on, it's not their responsibility, it is the user. So someone's going to get punished for breaching copyright, it's the person who posted it, not the website. Sorry. But um, this law changes it. It says basically very broadly this is not I'm not reading off the actual thing but um, the basic gist of it is if a website is encouraging well scrap that if a website has the possibility of you posting um, copyrighted material on it so that's if you post a video that you don't own or you record some stuff that you don't own music videos anything like that game footage um, then that site could be severely punished and in the utmost extreme put down, shut down, blocked for ever and then um, the reason that uh, this bill is so important is because it's being put through in America it can't affect sites that are outside of the um, US which sounds like it's good, oh okay so it can't affect all of them but pretty much I'm going to say, this is a wild guess, because America is such a big influence over the internet, um, I'd say over 40, maybe even over 50, so that's most of the websites. Probably not, but I'd say over 50% of the websites on the internet are based in the US, which um, is quite worrying, because then that's most of the websites on the internet that could be prohibited and blocked by this act. Um, Pretty much every website has the possibility of copyrighted materials being posted on it. Um, so things like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, um, all you can post stuff on it. If it's copyrighted, then it's copyrighted, and that is something bad. I know YouTube's obviously there's lots of lawsuits going around about YouTube, um, but anyway, that's just one example. But um, right, I'm going to use um, this is something that Total Biscuit put on. This is um, just a reference from him. I'm using his because I can't think of any better ones. Um, think of it like this. Say, you're driving along, just as you do, and then someone crashes into you in, say, I don't know, a Toyota. Then that is, this act would allow the whole of Toyota to go down. That's not Toyota's fault that that person crashed into you. It's their fault. They should be punished. But no, if this act was in the case of cars, then that whole, the whole company would go down. So basically this is saying if someone posts if people post bad like copyrighted material say um, say there was a, a new site because they're probably not going to ban the big huge ones out of the public outrage that would happen over it but it's still possible so let's say a small forum and um, it's good people quite a lot of people are on it and then um, say someone posts I don't know um, a video then uh, 
if they don't own everything in that video, that would go against copyright, and that site could potentially be put down. And um, these are things known as rogue sites, ro um, sites that can have stuff copyrighted material on it. And um, even, I mean, this can go madly terrible. Say you, I don't know, recorded a video of like a three-year-old singing a song. That's lovely. Say in the background you had some music on for that song. That music's copyrighted. That video is then breaching copyright. The website you put it on could then be blocked and shut down because of that. I mean, there's, it's stupid like that. They're trying to stop piracy, but this is not the way to stop piracy. There is, um, I think, let me think, who said it? Oh, damn it. I was reading an article. Um, once I've recorded this, I'll find that article, put, put it in the description. Um, who was it? Oh, it was Gabe Newell from Valve, the CEO of Valve. He was doing um, an interview. I'll find the website and put it in the description. But it was, um, he basically said, cop um, piracy is obviously a bad thing. It's a big problem. But no matter how much copyright you put on, that's not the way to fight piracy. He said, the way to fight piracy is to make a better surface. Make, make it worthwhile paying. And it, it's, he said, it's not the money it's just, it's not always the money that pirates go for, it's um, other stuff. So if you provide a good enough service that people will pay, will use it legitimately, then you're off. And people just, piracy is just going to go down. And I think that is a good way of looking at it. I mean, so many people have said that. Gabe Newell is just one example I'm thinking of. But so many people have agreed with him and put stuff, put stuff on their website saying against piracy and this is how they're going to try and stop it and this is the way they're doing it but um, I think excuse me, I think that's a much better way of fighting piracy than what this act is trying to do and um, there are a number of sites and videos I'm just flicking through some notes I've got um, there was an article on Tech Dirt which basically runs through the whole thing uh, it's huge, it's very long, you don't have to read it all but um, I'll post that in the description, it basically describes all the downs in, uh, the thing, the basic thing about it, and how bad it is. Um, I'll post in the, I'll put in the description the link to the Gabe Newell thing. I'll put Total Biscuits video on. He explains it much better than me. And um, he is basically the first place I saw it. There's also um, a very good, you know, Anonymous that uh, that prem. Oh, I'm trying to think how to describe him. You know who Anonymous are. Everyone knows who Anonymous Anonymous are. And um, they've pretty openly said we are against this so is pretty much everyone pretty much everyone is against this and they are they've put on things saying this is not how to do it so many companies have come up against this act so many people have come up so um i'm not a u.s citizen obviously but um i can't there's nothing really i can do physically but if you are a u.s citizen then um right call, email, and they'll contact your local representative and mention this to them, mention how bad this thing is and how outraged you are about it because this isn't good and if if the if loads of people mention this to a congressman or a congresswoman then they're obviously going to have to listen to you if, if loads of people mention this to them this is if we need the whole internet using population has to come together and show that we won't stand for this this is terrible they are basically censoring the inter the internet they are stopping what people can look at on the internet nobody owns the internet there's not one country or company or person that owns the internet and um, you can't own all of it you can't stop people looking at what they want to look at that's basically the so-called land of the free and um, blogging their citizens freedom they're also going they're also affecting people from other countries and if this goes through in the US what's to say that other countries won't follow in suit I mean what if I don't know your country comes along and says oh you know what we're gonna agree with that and then this happens in another country then if what if another country sees that what if loads of countries just all agree with this act and they bring it into their own country then you've got pretty much every website on the internet under threat from this act and um, this I've just basically gone over the very very basics but I will post links in the description um, showing you the places where it describes it more or it has particular articles or stuff like that um, but 
there's not much I can do apart from spread this. I posted it on Facebook. Um, so this is this is a very big deal. I feel very outraged by this. Outraged so much that I have to kind of break the purpose of this YouTube channel and not mention something about gaming. But it is very, very, very I'll say it again, very important and the message needs to get out there. So if if you are a US citizen then contact your representative, write to them or call them or any way to get into contact with them. And um, if you're not just get the message out, get the message out to as many people as you can, let them know about this atrocity that is going through in the US government, this is a terrible, terrible thing, and it has to stop, so, uh, thank you for listening to my rant about this, um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say apart from we need to stop this, so thanks for listening, and, uh, may out.